Hi, I'm Emily Schaefer. And I'm Sarah Stubbs. And this is UFTV News. Croy Gymnasium at the University of Finley will be getting a facelift over the next couple of months to be ready just in time for summer camps. Jim Givens, Associate Athletic Director, says that the gym will be getting an entirely new look. All of the banners will be taken down, everything will be repainted, and the bleachers will be replaced. Currently, the bleachers that Croy has do not have a railing for fans to use and are just not safe. With the new bleachers in place, UF will be losing about 300 seats, but gaining a much safer environment. UF has also recently announced that there is a new dean for the College of Pharmacy. Emmy Yoshinaga has more on that story. Thanks, Sarah. The University of Finley has announced that Deborah Parker will take over as the new dean for the College of Pharmacy. Parker has been serving as interim dean over the last six months, so she will be making the transition quite smoothly. She has been a professor at the UF since 2006 and has continued to practice pharmacy while working in academia. Parker says that her experiences in both sides of the pharmacy field will help immensely in her new leadership role. UF Offices of Internship and Placement is creating career closet for students. Phil Guntner, Director of the Office of Internships and Placement, says that this closet will offer shirts, ties, pants, blouses, pantsuits, as well as resume paper and pad folios to students at no cost. The queer closet is an idea that came about through the Parent Project. The Parent Project is a project that happens every year through the Advancement Placement Office at UF. The group comprises of students, parents, who run f fundraisers throughout the year. They will be fundraising the career closet completely and in, in purchasing the professional clothing from Loco Boutiques. Now to Emmy for the update on the Browns partnership. UF students who made it through last week's first round of interviews will be traveling to Cleveland for the second rounds. We look forward to seeing how these students do and which UF students will rise to the top and will be working for the Cleveland Brown this summer. Thanks, Emmy. That is such an exciting opportunity. About a week ago, SGA announced that Nick Thompson won the presidency. In the next show, we will announce the Senate results. In other SGA news, current president, Preston Eberlin, headed up the letter of opposition that was signed by each member of the Senate and executive board, then sent to state senators and representatives regarding House Bill 53. The SGA members sent the letter with strong opposition to sections 4503.11 and 450.213, amendments that felt infringed on voting rights of out-of-state college students. Just yesterday, we found out that Governor Kasich's line vetoed the two amendments. Thanks for tuning in to UFTV News. We'll see you next time.